guerrilla warfare is, uh, to me, um, how would I define it? I would define it as uh, taking away all the rules of proper conduct because the goal of a war is to win. And therefore, anything that wins the war, you must do. It's usually done by people who have uh, little money and little power and little influence in society. Uh, I, I think the best explanation of it would be Malcolm X's phrase, by any means necessary. I really look at it as kind of like a campaign of war, and that information is basically the ultimate weapon. There's this great paradox. At the same time that there's more and more decentralized information via the Internet, there's more and more centralized control of information thanks to the Telecommunications Deregulation Act. Who are the people who control Internet information? CNN.com, Time.com, ABCNews.com, things like that, which are serving, you know, an oligopoly of economic and media interests. In order to have power, uh, you have to cynically use it and sometimes do things which are immoral to get your agenda through. Anyone can find if they want to on the internet incredible amount of information, alternative and underground information. They don't mind if people look at macro phenomenon so much, especially underground people. Like, if I write the CIA is involved in drugs, they don't care. I, if I say that the Pentagon is crooked and is uh, supporting death squads in Central America, they don't care. But when you come up with actual names of specific people, and you come up with hard evidence that links them to crimes, that's when you get knocked off, or that's when they really start giving you warnings. I'm beginning to feel The best way to suppress information isn't to attack people who present it, but instead to have so many indulgent pleasures out there that important information will be drowned out by the noise of the spectacle. I think people need to be shocked. I mean, this is one of the funny things of having a culture which is so much shock-based in the sense of Jerry Springer or Howard Stern, where in essence people get a kind of a fix like they're doing something dangerous and then go back to drinking beer and watching TV. I think it's more important to give people a shock where they can't just go back to that, where they have to deal with it, where they have to come face to face with the fact that the structure that we pledge allegiance to and that we believe in and that we love is at its core quite diabolic. In the end, they can only do what they can get away with. But if you can affect people's minds with insidious values like freedom and liberty and the right to be whatever you want to be, you will be victorious. This is Robert Sterling, and you're watching the Gorilla News Network.